um, a person uh, who claims like he's very knowledgeable, he's, uh, people see him as a scholar, he said basically with regards to gays that they shouldn't be spoken in a bad way, they're like, hum they're like little people, they just have a disease and stuff like that. So as a Muslim, uh, we know Allah uh, spoke many things about it, but how should we react and approach ourselves when we are facing these people? Or we say Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu anhu narrated in a well-known hadith in Sahih Muslim, Man ra'a minkum munkaran falayughayyirhu biyadi. He who sees an evil should change it with his hands. If he can't, speak out against it. If he can't, hate it in his heart. And that is the weakest part of Iman. So that's the general rule of anything. Homosexuality, lesbianism, gender, gender uh, changing and things like this, transformation. Anything that is haram, drinking alcohol, shit, kufr. The Muslim should try to change it with his hands if he can. And if he cannot, at least speak out against it. And if he can't speak out against it, or there is no direct faida, no major influence and effect of him speaking on it, Allah says, and give the reminder, in dhikra, if the reminder benefits. There is no specific cause or effect or influence that he's going to have, then at least hate it in his heart, which is the weakest and lowest level of Iman. The time comes... In which the believer doesn't change it, doesn't speak out against it, and may not even hate it in his heart, may accept it and look at it as something that's normal. That's very, 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 very dangerous. So this is what we say with regards to anything that's haram against Allah and his Rasul, let alone something such as lesbianism, homosexuality, sodomy, etc. Is that we should hate it. And we believe that it's wrong, it's munkar, and it's evil. What the modern world says, what the doctors say, what the physicians say, we go with what Allah Azza wa and His Rasul say. Everybody clear on this? And that is a hated, despicable, repugnant, reprehensible act. Period. And it is unnatural. Period. Everybody understand this? Now, does this mean and necessitate that you have to speak out and say something about it every single time you see it in every place and every issue? Living in America when it's surrounding you. That's one scenario. Another scenario is... Does this mean that you don't have to practice hikmah? You shouldn't practice hikmah. Everybody understand this? In a sensitive time that we live in, and Islam is being attacked, and things are hurled and launched against it. That's another what? Scenario as well. So it's just that simple. Your position is clear. And no one can change or stop you from having your position and your religious freedom. I believe that it's wrong. God Almighty said it was wrong. In this book it says it's wrong, and that book says wrong, and that's what I believe. If you persecute me for that, then that's what you persecute me for. That doesn't mean that my beliefs cause damage and harm to the next human being in a place in which I'm not supposed to do something physically. Everybody understand this? You walk past a bar. What do you do with the bar? Destroy the bar, kill the people in the bar? That's not your responsibility. That's not the level of... Forbidding the evil that you've been held responsible for, but you hate it in your heart. And if someone asks you, or you, you say it's evil to drink, and khamar is bad, and it's dirty, and it's filthy, and it destroys you. And the list goes on. It's just that simple. It's just what? It's just that simple. And anyone who tries to, who tries to compromise and apologize in the modern world, what Islam has to say about people who commit homosexuality and lesbianism, that's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. The whole concept of progressive, modern Islam and Muslims, doctors and scholars who wish to downgrade the deen, to please and to get close to the non-Muslim people who, for one reason or another, unfortunately, control the policy or dominate the policy of the modern world. That's unfortunate. Allah has told us in the Quran that the izzah, the might and the glory, to Allah is the glory and to his messenger and to what? The believers. What does Allah say about the munafiqeen? However, they don't what? They just don't get it. They just don't understand. Wallahu ta'ala alam.